We have a really special treat for you today. So many of us here in Middle Tennessee grow our gardens in the shade because we have so many trees and I am in the garden of Cornelia Hall. And Cornelia, tell me a little bit about how you got started in the hosta gardening uh, end of things. My mother gardened, but she didn't let me garden. I grew okra. I love the okra flower. Now, how many varieties of hostas do you have here in the garden? Oh, 800 plus. 800 plus varieties of hostas. Mm -hmm. The first hostas I bought uh, were from a page in a wayside catalog, and all of them were fragrant. It reminds me of jasmine. It just permeates the air. It's, it's um, intoxicating. And you walk through a rose garden and, and some of the roses, just the, the fragrance meets you. You don't have to go meet it. It's like that. Mm -hmm. Cornelia, certainly for a Tennessee collection and, and really even for a national collection, has as many hostas on the parcel of land that she has available to her as anybody I know. Well, my, one of my favorite parts has always been the collecting, the chase for the specific plant that you wanted. My phone did ring one day and it was Cornelia and, and the conversation led to, I, I'm thinking about the future. I was looking for a way to conserve the uh, collection. Um, I said, have you thought about the garden at UT? It's a growing garden, it's a young garden, it's a developing garden and they're really looking for you know, new things to add. And I said, I don't know anybody at UT. And in fact, I had never been to the UT gardens. I said, I'll put you in touch with the people that I know there and you can see what happens. And, and here we are. So. It, it really is a perfect fit for a university garden because we're able to uh, educate. And then we have this research component that really many botanical gardens around the United States are not able or capable to have. And I think having a garden like this at UT will just give the public so much more awareness of what's really out there and what's really available. I mean, it's amazing what one individual um, had amassed on her own. And just the wisdom, the knowledge, and the experience that she has with, with these plants. She's just so passionate and so willing to share all of that knowledge and all of that experience freely with everybody. We would probably never on our very own establish the size of the hosta garden that we have just created. So I really hope that as the garden progresses, that it will be like wandering through Cornelius' backyard, just being able to, to give that backyard to so many more people. But it isn't my personal garden. It's the garden of all the people of Tennessee. Really, the garden of anybody that comes to see you. So it doesn't matter if you're a homeowner, a student, or a nursery producer. Everyone can learn from visiting and experiencing this wonderful new garden. My plans are to um, take a folding chair and just go sit in the garden several times uh, during this first season and just enjoy it, see what it looks like, and discover things in it. We just have been awarded the American Hosta Society display garden status. It doesn't get any better than that if you're gonna have a hosta garden. If you're a true collector, one mower, you know, I think you never get tr completed with your collection. There's always one mower possibility. And that's the way it is with me. <laughs>